Michael, this is for you. It's the 24th of August, 2010. Janot and I have decided to come to the airport that used to be, that you didn't think did, but was. I start here because here's the entry, the cute little entryway to the restaurant. Aw, oh, old and dilapidated. Don't worry, I'll go all around. What do you think that used to be, that round circle, Janot? Do you well, have any idea? Yeah, maybe a control tower? I have a feeling this used to be. Here's a nice door. Peter, you should appreciate that. I have a feel. Oh, control tower. That's interesting. Look at this cute little sortie. And we walk out. Straight ahead is the tennis club, one of the nicest ones in the region. There's probably about 40 courts indoors and out. I'd like you to notice the Christmas tree lights falling apart. Lamp all broken. But Mike, notice the pictures that I've sent you. I wonder if there's even that cannon thing on there. This teeny little yard. This is where those ten, some odd ten, fantastic old planes were. Along with the beautiful red wagon. You're not going to see a red wagon like that around anymore, are you? Okay, let's take a walk around the back. Here's what I bet used to be a barn. Oh, that brick and the silo, maybe, that is. Here's all the restaurant part. Here's the beautiful weeping willow. The trees last, don't they? Yes, they do. Now, what we're going to do is get a picture next of the biggest Goldern mushroom I have ever seen. Look at that guy. Wow, I have to say. That thing's about six inches wide. I'll show you. I put my foot there. See the difference? Wow. Anyway, let's get on with business. Look at this old part. Oh, I love it. Right through the trees we'll go. Look at that. Looks like it might have gotten bombarded. Could we be? on the Normandy coast. Look at that. Okay. Well, look at that nice old rough, thatched roof. Come on, folks. Now it's the neatest part of all. Why is it the neatest part? We're behind the restaurant. Folks would eat outside here. Hold on. In the gazebo. I guess those are wells. A couple of them around here. Have a nice little lunch in here. We're going to have to look up the 94th squadron, aren't we? The nose over there watching tennis. Can't get him away from that. Hi. See me there, folks? Tried to get in, but all the doors are locked. Let me tell you the most important part about this place. More rundown Christmas tree lights. Not much to see inside. Oh, boy. We're on the porch where people could sit and watch the planes take off and land. On this here in front of me, one of the very first landing fields and takeoff fields in the United States. Believe it or not, it's still working. Too much kutsu on the way, though, in the way. But can you imagine sitting here 50, 70 years ago, watching the planes take off? Look at that. That's the runway. And if we look carefully, the museum now. Whoops, we have to look real carefully. Way down here. I'll show y'all. Hopefully this doesn't run out. Up. Oh, now you can see the 
the new airport, which is the old airport actually, it's a museum. Museum airport, I guess this restaurant was for all the spectators to gather on weekends and watch as Wilbur Wright would take off from here and gave lessons here in fact on this very field that is still used. I was hoping a plane would take off right now, but no luck. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the tour and I wish we could have a little drink in honor of the airplanes and the birdies.